What's up, guys? It's Will from RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com coming to you with another video here on my definitive guide to grooming. Um, I wrote this maybe three years ago, uh, three and a half years ago, and started my site, uh, but it hasn't changed much uh, because it is the definitive guide. Um, pretty much everything you need is covered. What has changed is some of the products that I use. It's harder to find natural products out here in Thailand. Um, and you know, some of them, it just doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. You know, I just don't care as much anymore. Um, but the majority of the stuff I have is the same. Um, so let me break down for you uh, what you need, and then I'm going to break down how to use it. It is Sunday here, Thailand. It's a beautiful day. I'm about to go take my bike up the mountain to see a Buddhist temple. Before I do that, I want to drop all the science on you. Uh, Sunday is my grooming day. It's where I get all the grooming done for the week. Like everything in my life, it's systemized and I have it running on a batch task. So all the stuff that I need to do, um, I just do it all on Sunday and it takes me maybe like an hour, but that's how I keep looking fresh to death. You know, all this handsomeness takes effort. Okay. Um, and if you guys, you know, you want to have women in your life consistently stray nose hairs and, you know, hairy back, and you know unkept eyebrows is is not the move okay so you gotta keep this shit together the average guy doesn't do this by the way the average guy has terrible grooming um and girls snicker behind their backs and if you have ear hair or something like that or your girlfriend's quietly turned off by you know a lot of the things that that you do um so it's really important to keep all this together okay and you're not doing it for other girls. You're doing it for yourself. You, you know, the girls is the bonus, but you're doing it for you so that you can look good, feel good, um, and be good every week of your life. All right? So let's first get into what you need. The Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Razor. It's the best razor I've ever used. I have the one with the battery here. haven't noticed much of a difference, um, but the swivel head, which was... There's the Fusion Pro Glide, and I think this is the one above that with the swivel head. The swivel head's fucking good. You know, I recommend that. This is for those of you guys who shave every day. Um, I actually don't use it to shave anymore. You can see I just keep the stubble. I'll tell you how, you how I do that. What I do use it for is the back here, which is like a straight uh, safety razor, except it doesn't cut you. Don't buy into this safety razor and like art of shaving shit. It's just, it's way inefficient. I can shave my entire beard in like a minute and a half with this. You can't beat the fusion razor and you never get cuts. The shaving razor, uh, the safety razor, I did that for a while. You know, you're always cutting your face. Okay. And it takes forever to do it properly. Even when you master the technique and you got to warm your face and like put all this this, I don't even use shaving cream if I'm going to shave. But for now, I just use this bit, okay? Um, and I'll use that on the back of my neck. I'll use that on, um, you know, sometimes on, on my balls to, like, get straight hairs that I can't get with this side. And when I was shaving my beard, I would use this bit here to tighten up the sideburns, okay? Because right, right below the sideburns, that's the hardest part to tighten up. Next up, I used to use Druid Styling Gel, which is a natural styling gel, but this is actually better. Um, Giovanni Eco Hair Chic. You can check the article. I'll have most of the um, links in there, but some of these new ones I just haven't bothered. So you're just going to have to go on Amazon and find that yourself. Giovanni Eco Chic. You can see I don't use much. Uh, I don't use gel too often now because I stopped shampooing my hair. And I find that my hair moves much more naturally now. It doesn't get poofy. Um, and it pretty much styles the way I want without the gel. Um, lip balm. Use this right here. I used to use Burt's Bees, but I couldn't be bothered to order that from Amazon. And, and Thailand doesn't have almost any health, you know, healthy products. The, the health movement has not caught on over here. Everything is deep fried and, you know, like no one gives a fuck, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Yeah, everyone's thin because um, 
fat shaming still exists in Thailand. So girls stay thin by eating half the meal that's served to them. Um, this is for you people who say, you know, you don't know how to get thin. It's just eating less. Okay. Next up, uh, Burt's Bees Facial Scrub. I use this for a long time. Basically comes with like, you know, hard particulates. I don't know if they're sand or whatever, and it's kind of a moisturizer and you use it on your face once a week. Again, can't be bothered to use that, but it definitely makes an, a nice difference on your skin. Um, maybe like a 7% difference. What I do use instead is I use the washcloth every day. Um, I was raised with a washcloth. No, no one that seems to use a washcloth anymore. The washcloth is just like the, the cloth you put on your face in the shower and you rub, I rub really hard on my face so that um, I take away all the dead skin every day. And that makes a noticeable difference. And the washcloth costs maybe 70 cents and it lasts forever. So highly recommend that. Um, next up, Everyman Jack Cedarwood Deodorant. This lasts like a year or more. You can see here, it's the kind that leaves a white stain on your armpits because it's natural. And it's the only natural deodorant I've used that actually works and doesn't leave you smelling like a fucking hippie who's doused himself in patchouli oil and lemon. This works um, and it smells good. And it's made out of cotton extract and witch hazel. I don't really care. I just know that it's not going to give me um, Alzheimer's from all the aluminum and it smells good and it, and it does its job. It doesn't have the high tech technology of the new deodorants, so it doesn't leave the white stains, but really you just take a towel and dab it a little bit and the white stains are gone instantly. Um, Oral-B Glide Pro Health Comfort Floss. This is the Life brand, which is the Canadian generic version, which I bought before I left Canada. Now, flossing, I've been told by my dentist, is more important than brushing. And since I started flossing every morning, the last time I went to my dentist, which was like three hours, three years in between visits, because I hate going, the dentist actually thought I was going somewhere else because my gums improved so much. So for those of you guys that don't floss, you should start. It's even more important than brushing your teeth. Since I started flossing every day for the last couple of years, my gums don't bleed anymore. You know, everything's real healthy. And the reason I recommend that floss is it's the soft, it's really soft. So it like glides in between your teeth. I mean, I know that sounds kind of precious to worry about, but it means that your gums aren't going to bleed when you floss. And it also means you're going to damage your gums a lot less when you're flossing. And it makes a big difference. Um, and it's literally like 50 cents more or something like floss costs nothing anyway. So you might as well use that. Um, I also use these bad boys, these picks here. You can see I've still got a metal wire along the, the bottom of my teeth to keep them straight from when I had braces and the orthodontist said to keep that in forever, but you can't get the floss in there. For those of you guys who have that metal bar or your teeth here just jammed up, Use these picks. They get right in. They come in like a hundred pack. You can get them anywhere, at least anywhere that's not Thailand, and they last forever. So get yourself some of those. Um, I used to use a bolt, uh, a big disposable razor in the shower, but now I just use the Dull um, Fusion, and this is for shaving your balls and shaving like um, groin, arms. If you do, I shave my arms, which is pretty gay, but I don't like having hairy Italian looking arms. Um, it's not a nice look. And I also shave my chest. I'm going to tell you how I do that with another tool. But it might sound scary for you to, to shave with a dull razor, but I'm telling you, when the razor is nice and sharp, you're going to get cut and you're going to get uh, nicks all over your balls, but the dull razor, you don't get nicks at all. And it does a great job. Okay. The, the Gillette fusion I actually have a different one. It's the same one, same model, but I keep it in the shower, um, so that I'm not shaving my balls with the shame, the same razor that I'm using on my face. And the one I have in the shower is dull as hell. I've been using it for the last year or so. I even brought it to Thailand. Um, 
and I'm telling you, you can use those, you can use the same razor for like three years and you don't get cut. In fact, you get cut with the sharp razor. Just trust me on that. Okay. Um, dull the razor out before you start using it on your balls or you're going to you make your dick and balls bleed. Okay. Um, used to use Nizorol, anti-dandruff, hair loss prevention stuff. It's a kind of a topical DHT, light topical DHT preventer. But now I use the research chemical RU on my research subject, of course. Um, and I also don't shampoo my hair anymore. So my hair has a nice, my hair looks much nicer. It's got like natural oils in it and it never gets all dry and poofy. Um, so I would either recommend using Nizorol twice a week or no shampoo at all. Um, next up, the Philips Series 3000. Uh, nose hair and ear hair trimmers. So you see this? This is this is how it trims. So you put that up your nose like this. And it works better than any other trimmer. Like most of the trimmers are those, uh, it's like a shaft and then they have... Um, blades in the middle and that doesn't cut everything this has the blades all down the side you know those old school ones you know to do it properly it takes like 10 minutes and you know you don't get all the hairs this one within a minute your your entire nose is trimmed also guys you got to get the side of your ears as you get older you start getting these random ass hairs on top of your ears it's fucking disgusting and i'll see it on guys you can really only see it in the sunshine but I'll see it on guys and I'll see like I'll be sitting have a beer with guy and I can see a giant fucking hair like this on top of his ear. Some of you guys are going to have hairs on top of your nose too. Like I, I know guys with like three long hairs growing out of their nose and I don't know how they can't see it and how they, they can't trim it. So if you, have, you, if you have hairs like on the top of your nose, fucking shave that shit, man. Do in between your eyebrows too if it's hairy. Mine's not. Um, you know the ears here and then inside the ears as well but you know that's a big one on top of the ears it's it's fucking gross so get that handle phillips series 3000 this is the best costs maybe 10 15 dollars more than the extra trimmer it lasts forever and it's just way better so buy this don't buy those cheap five dollar trimmers um nail clippers pretty standard every week hands and feet um natural toothpaste this i actually bought in thailand they have this at 7-eleven nature's gate fluoride free i don't like to put fluoride in my mouth if i can help it um now some dentists actually actually do think that um fluoride is good for you and good for your teeth and it might be but the overall health benefits i would say for me it's a no um, you know, a lot of conspiracy guys go off about fluoride in the water, but really it was under the recommendation of dentists. I, I don't think it was a, a government conspiracy. There's plenty of other real conspiracies, um, out there, but I don't think that's one. I think that the dentists do actually believe that it makes your teeth healthier. Um, my best friend back home, his mom's a dental professor and his father is too, and they both said that you should use fluoride. But I just don't want fluoride if I can avoid it. Um, my instincts tell me that it's not it's not the best thing. But it's up to you guys, and and I like to use a natural toothpaste, a, a, a natural um, you know laundry detergent and everything like that. Uh, I recommend going to like one of the health food stores, getting a natural detergent. It doesn't matter which one if you're doing your own laundry. I don't do my own laundry anymore in Thailand. So they, they use all kinds of unnatural deodorant on it, which makes me sneeze because it has a strong perfume. Um, it, but such is life. That's the price I pay for not doing my own laundry. And I'm willing to pay that. But back home, I would use like um, one of the natural deodorant. Uh, laundry detergents. Okay. Now, since I wrote the article, I've added a few things. Sunscreen. This is SPF 30. It's sunny all the time in Thailand. So I have to use this. For those of you guys, even if you're not tanning and even if you don't see yourself as tanned, use sunscreen anyways when it's sunny out. And this is 
the reason for that is anti-aging. So the more sun you get without sunscreen, the more wrinkles you're going to have. And if you guys are serious about anti-aging, like you're over 30, like I am 33, I want to prevent wrinkles as much as possible. So that means I wake up, I put this on every single day. Instead of moisturizer, I use a sunscreen. I use it on my arms. I use it on my face, back of my neck. Um, and even if the sun, even if it's not a super sunny day, um, I'm at the point where I'm actively fighting aging. I don't want to get wrinkles, so I do the sunscreen. Next up, we got the Wall Pro Lithium Trimmer here. This comes with seven bits. Uh, Wall is the best brand for hair trimmers there is. Uh, with that said, it doesn't matter which kind you use. You can use the $30 or $40 one that you can buy in any like Walmart or whatever. And it comes with like, you know, scissors and like a hundred bits and all that stuff. And it's corded, but it doesn't matter. That'll do the job just fine. I cut my, I cut my own hair every week. i uh, eventually have a post on how to do that. It's actually quite easy. And you know, it saves having to go to the barber and explain to them what to do. It saves having to go to the barber every week, and I can cut my hair exactly how I like it. The barber never quite did it all the way how I wanted it to. And I don't really trust the barbers out here in, in Thailand either. I want to, you know, I want to be able to handle all my pro as, as many problems as I can myself. And what I do is I cut the hair, and then I just spray it all down into the drain in the shower. And I have someone come clean my place on Sundays anyways, so makes actually no mess for me. Um, the reason I picked this one is because it's cordless, so I can move around with it a bit more, but you don't need the cordless ones. The cord that they give you, the wall cord is long enough. And I probably would buy a corded one because the electricity here in my old place was spotty. So like some weeks it wouldn't be charged properly and it would last like 30 seconds. Um, but in my place now, it's normal. The electricity is good, so it's it's no problem. Uh, but the, the wall is really good, and it's really good if you can learn how to cut your own hair. Lastly, I want to introduce you to the Philips um, Body Groom, all one word, Body Groom 7100, I believe. And I think the model is BG040. Now, I'm not sure if that's what it is in America, but that's what it was in Canada when I got it. It, it went under two different models, one in Canada, one in America. Um, I know you can buy this on Amazon for like maybe 75 bucks, and I know you can buy it on Best Buy for $69.99. Um, there's, there's some similar ones, but make sure you're getting the one like this because this is the one that has all the five-star reviews. There's another one, but it has like – it's not quite as good. I think it's like has only four-star reviews. This is the shit. Okay. So first off, you've got the beard trimmer here. This comes with a bit, but I don't use the bits because what I do is I just trim. I trim my beard on this setting on Sunday so you can see freshly trimmed. And that's it. I just let it grow out by the end of the week. By the end of the week, I have like, you know, a decent looking beard, but it's not to the point where it looks unkept. Um... And then today, you know, I just I just tighten it up. It means I don't have to shave. I don't have to irritate my skin. Um, I don't have to do anything except once a week just run this over my face for like a minute. It's perfect. And uh, I don't have a job. I have my own business. So I don't have to shave and be a good little boy in a suit and tie anymore. Um, and I love it. And, but the reason, the real reason I bought it was... It has the two extensions, and this is the important one here. So this is the body groom area, and it is designed for um, trimming body hair for men. And the reason I use this is this is the only electric I can use. Actually, it's the only anything I can use that doesn't um, make my chest break out in acne after I've shaved. For some reason, the other areas of my body are fine with a razor, but my chest will get acne after I've shaved it. And that kind of defeats the purpose because I shave my chest so that, you know, the muscles show and I look good and all that. But, you know, when I break out an acne, it, chest knee, it's really not, a, you know, the right move. Um, 
but now I just use it for, I use it for the rest of my body too. So every week I do the shoulders. I look at, I turn around in the mirror and I do any stray back hairs. You guys got to watch if you have moles on your back, those will get some nasty, like long ass, disgusting hairs on them. So, you know, look over your, your back and do the, the stray back hairs. Use it on the tops of the shoulders here. Um, my arms I usually do with the, uh, the fusion, but I do this on the taint and my ass hole as well. Might be too much information, guys, but you want to keep that area trimmed too, okay? And you don't want to be in there with this. You want to be in there with this. So this, chest, taint, ass, the inside of your ass, okay? Sounds pretty gross, but you want to keep everything nice and tidy, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to go any, into any more detail. I don't actually use it on my balls, though, because... I'm such a surgeon with this thing and this thing does it much faster and I never get cuts and I never hurt myself or anything. So those are the tools. And now I'm going to break down how you should do it on your weekly routine, um, which is going to be pretty much like the routine I do now. So brush teeth and floss, hop in the shower, Rub the washcloth on your face. Um, run the water over your hair. I don't use shampoo. If you're going to use shampoo, do the Nizerol. You can do that once a week. Um, use the razor to do your arms, balls, stomach, just below the stomach. Use this for the rest. Shave your face. Okay. Use either the. I, I would use this bad boy. Um, if I'm fully shaving my face, I just take a washcloth, I put it in the ultra hot water for like 30 seconds, and then I blast that on my face. So I do like a minute of like blasting ultra hot water on my face, and then just use the Fusion Pro Glide. No shaving cream necessary. I'm telling you, if you're getting irritation, the majority of the time it's going to be from shaving cream. Even the natural shaving cream I find still irritates your face. Because it either has alcohol or has like sodium lauryl sulfate, um, two things that I avoid. Also, guys, I don't use soap on my face. Um, that stopped my acne. I don't use soap anywhere except my armpits and my ass just to get rid of, you know, body odor. But soap is not necessary at all. In fact, dries out your skin, especially on your face and is especially bad for acne on your face, sodium lauryl sulfate. And then the other thing is they put it in, even the natural soap, not good for you, man. You know, you, your, your body's not designed for it. Your body's designed to like bathe in some river in Africa, right? Okay. You're not designed to put soap everywhere. No aftershave. I don't use deodorant either because those perfumes annoy my nose. I just use enough of this once I get out of the shower, put the sunscreen on. Put the gel in, lip balm, so your lips don't, don't get chapped and gross. Then uh, for the weekly, I make sure that's, that's like the daily, then, um, or sorry, we're doing the weekly here. And then the rest of it, I do the groom the nails. And then I'll check to make sure that I got all the all the shoulder hair and the stray hairs on my back. Then I will do my nose and ear hair. Um, and uh, that's it, guys. So if you want to see the full article and just bullet point forms, um, it'll be really easy for you guys to use. And you can keep it in your Evernote. That's where I keep all my information that I'm using. Um, and that's it. So let me know if you have any questions, like if you if you want me to run by the models again for you, because I don't have all these tools in the article. The article has my tools from three years ago, three or four of these, maybe three of these are new. So let me know if you need the, a link for those. Otherwise, that's it. So thank you guys for watching and uh, all the best as usual.